rural electrification is on top of the development agenda of many African countries. Ethiopia is no different. At a national electrification rate of 25%, only 5% of households in rural Ethiopia have electricity. With no access to modern cooking fuels and technologies, a significant part of the population breathes in indoor smoke every day. In 2009, the government embarked on a realistic national biogas program to distribute biogas renewable energy to 36,000 rural households in four regions. So far, a total of 22,628 domestic biodigesters have been installed. The program is funded by the European Union and the government of the Netherlands with SNV Development Organization providing technical assistance. Astatke Alemaye, whose household in Godino village, Adar district of the Oromia region, is benefiting from this government program. The biogas his family uses for lighting and cooking comes from his herd of cows and goats and from the home spit latrine. <laughs> The production of biogas requires a digester, connecting pipes and appliances. Installation of the entire process costs 600 euros, an equivalent of 2.4 million Uganda shillings. Of this amount, 228 euros, an equivalent of 941,000 shillings, is subsidized by the government. The rest of the money is paid over a period of two years. Biogas is not only used for electricity generation, but the bio slurry it produces is a natural fertilizer. <laughs> Once the, the dung is digested, what comes out is called bioslurry. That one is even better manure compared to the dung. If you use the bioslurry this way, then the benefit from bioslurry outweighs the benefit from the energy. In Uganda, a program for biogas production for domestic households was started by the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development in 2016. So far, 8,000 biodigesters have been distributed at an installation cost of 2.4 million shillings. However, according to the Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Renewable Energy, John Tumuhimbise, the ministry is embarking on an ambitious project to produce electricity from biogas. This biogas electricity will be added to the national grid. We are looking at urban centers, the big urban centers like Ampara, Capital City Authority, municipalities like uh, Masaka, Jinja, Marara and Mbare, where a lot of organic wastes are generated. And we are looking at converting these uh, organic wastes into biogas, which biogas can be used to produce electricity. In Kampala alone, the untapped waste at Chitezi dumping site in Wakiso district, if harnessed, can generate over 18 megawatts of electricity daily. This amount of electricity can power almost all the industries operating in Kampala. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.